بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناؤ آئی ایم ڈاکٹر نادیہ حلیم اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان بائیو کیمسٹری ڈپارٹمنٹ ناؤ وی آر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا سیکنڈ ماڈیول ون ٹاپک از لیفٹ دیئر دیٹ از ان دا سیکنڈ ماڈیول دا کاربوہائیڈریٹ میٹابولزم ایک ٹاپک رہ گیا ہے دیٹ از دا ہیکسوس مونو فاسفیٹ شانٹ ناؤ وی ول ڈسکس اٹ ناؤ Now the topics which we will discuss in HMP shunt, first of all, we'll go through the definition or we can say the introduction of the HMP shunt, then where it occurs like location, and uh, we will look at the different reactions of the, uh, of the HMP shunt, like phases of reaction, which are divided into two phases. Then we will look at the biomedical importance, or we can say what is the significance of the HMP shunt, and finally, the biomedical importance of the HMP shunt. HMP shunt. Now HMP shunt. Now what is HMP shunt? Is ke do teen naam hum karte hain. That is, it is also known as the hexose monophosphate shunt, or we can say pentose phosphate pathway. Bhi isko kehte hain, ya phosphopentose pathway bhi isko kehte hain. So these are the three names which indicates the HMP shunt. Ab pathway ki jaga we are basically using the shunt because the shunt means like it basically move from one track to another. Isko hum discuss karenge kaise ek track se dusre track ki taraf hum isko leke jate hain. Now the basic thing in HMP shunt like hexose monophosphate shunt is there is no ATP required here. Is mein koi ATP consumed nahi hota, no ATP is utilized or consumed here or no, uh, not even a single ATP is produced in this pathway. So we can say it is the multi-directional process hai, ya multi-cyclic process hai, in which the judges jahaan se amna start kiya, we will end up with the same substrate, like glucose 6 phosphate, we will start it from the glucose 6 phosphate, and it will be end up into the glucose 6 phosphate. Now, in this case, the glucose 6 phosphate produces the three molecules of the carbon dioxide, and the another important thing, which is uh, um, the significance of the HMP shunt, it is we will producing the three five carbon sugars, which are pentose sugars, we can say. So these are the two two important things, our significance of the hexose monophosphate shunt. Now, the location of the HMP shunt. As we know, like uh, pentose phosphate pathway, HMP shunt, which we are saying, it is the more complex pathway than glycolysis. The site is the same, like just a glycolysis cytosolic. It is again, we can say, it is a cytosolic pathway, and the different region where it occurs is the liver, hai, lactating mammary glands, hai, thyroid, hai, adipose tissues, leukocytes, which we call WBCs, we call them, or RBCs, red blood cells, and the rest is the adrenal cortex. And it is less active, uh, we can say, in the skeletal muscles and non-lactating mammary glands. Mein paas, it is less active. So this is the location of the HMP shunt. Now, the reactions of the HMP shunt. Now, we can see that the sequence of reaction of the pathway may be divided into two phases. Two phases we have to divide karte hain that is the oxidative phase and non oxidative phase ab oxidative phase we can say the reactions in oxidative phase are non reversible so it is called the oxidative non reversible pathway or dusra jo hamare paas phase second jo aa raha hota hai that is non oxidative in which the reactions are basically reversible theek hai ab oxidative phase non reversible pathway mein jo hamare paas important cheeze ho rahi hoti hain that is first of all dehydrogenation will be taking place in the presence of the enzyme that is the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase that is the important enzyme and, uh, and the second thing is decarboxylation means removal of the carbon dioxide will be taking place uh, from the glucose 6 phosphate and we will get the pentose phosphate okay and we'll get the important uh, pentose sugar that is known as ribulose 5 phosphate ab non oxidative reversible jisme hamare paas reactions honge now conversion of these pentose phosphate jo ki humne ribose sugar banaya tha that will again converted back into the glucose 6 phosphate through series of complex reactions and the different enzymes which are involved in non oxidative reversible pathway is are known as the transaldolase and transcatalase as the name indicates that the transfer of the aldose sugar into the keto mein hamare paas change ho raha hota hai aur transfer or changing of the keto sugar into the aldose sugar mein hum isko change karte hain so let's start the reactions now oxidative phase first of all we will look at the oxidative phase ki taraf hum jayenge ki like what is the oxidative phase 
the first of all, we will take the three molecules of the glucose 6-phosphate. Take it. Hum, glucose 6-phosphate, it is the basic substrate from where we will start the uh, reactions of the oxidative phase in which it, what will happen the dehydrogenation of the glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconate occurs and the, the enzyme involved is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase okay? and it is the dehydrogenase enzyme is NADP dependent if you remember the glycolysis that was the dehydrogenase was NAD dependent here it is the NADP dependent to give rise the NADPH that is reduced to NADPH and the glucose 6-phosphate will give us the 6-phosphogluconolactone okay? and after that the hydrolysis of 6-phosphogluconolactone which is the product formed from the glucose 6-phosphate into the 6-phosphogluconate by means of the enzyme gluconolactone hydrolase means hydrolysis is basically takes place uh, by means of this enzyme okay? that is addition of the water molecule. Now 6-phosphogluconate in the presence of again the same enzyme that is the dehydrogenasing, happy dehydrogenation again takes place which is NADP dependent in the presence of the magnesium now converting into the NADPH reduced to NADPH2 and the releasing of the carbon dioxide. So we will get the final uh, product that is the ribulose 5-phosphate so we are getting the Pentose sugar. Take a glucose 6-phosphate ko humne change kiya ribulose 5-phosphate mein by two steps like first of all dehydrogenation karke aur iske alawa decarboxylation by removal of the carbon dioxide. So this is the first phase of the HMB shunt that is the oxidative phase. Take a ab hum discuss kar rahe the piche ke why it is known as the shunt. Kyun isko shunt kehte hain and I also define it like it is uh, shunt to move from one track to another track. Okay, like uh, basically hexoses, just we have glucose 6-phosphate here, hexose, which we have glycolysis. Se liya. Now what will happen to that hexose and we are forming the pentose sugar different, now this pentose sugar, se we are forming different other pentose sugar, which may be cycled back into the pathway of glycolysis and then converting them into the fructose 6-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and used for the resynthesis of glucose 6-phosphate again. So that's why it is known as the HMP shunt. That's why it is called shunt that it started from glucose 6-phosphate which is called glycolysis of hexose sugar. Hai. Hai? And then after that we will form the different type of the pentosis and the pentosis again converted into the my pass glycer fructose 6 phosphate may change your jag and glycer dehyde 3 phosphate. You are the reactions with the cookie, and again, we will get back to the glucose 6 phosphate. So it is moved from one track to another track, that's why it is known as the HMP shunt. Now, look at this diagram. This diagram will be available in your uh, harbor. My pass dia gaya hai. Yahan pe again uh, showing the two pathways like oxidative and non-oxidative pathway. Ab yaha pe aapko clear cut nazar aa raha hai that we are taking the three molecules of the glucose 6-phosphate okay? and then converting them into the pentose sugar that is the ribulose 5-phosphate by means of the two enzyme dehydrogenase hai, and the second one it is again by dehydrogenase uh, by means of the decarboxylation and both the uh, yaha pe jo enzymes hai, they are NADP dependent and converting them into the NADPH. So in this phase, the specific thing, you can say the oxidative phase is responsible for generation of the NADPH, which we have significantly very important, which we use in what is the significance of the NADPH. Now, from uh, here we will start, where we have three molecules, ribulose 5-phosphate, ke. now we will start the non-oxidative phase. Now, if you see here, reactions are non-reversible. If you go to the second phase, ki taraf jate ho, that is the oxidative phase, which is start from here, ribulose 5-phosphate, that are basically uh, reversible phase. Aa jata. Hai? Now, we will get in the three molecules of the ribulose 5-phosphate. Now, here we will take the another important enzyme, this is epimerase or ketoisomerase. Yahan pe what will happen? What is the difference between the epimerase and the uh, isomerase? Mein kya difference aa sakta hai? That is, uh, epimerase means like uh, uh, that is the ribulose 5 phosphate 3 epimerase that alters the configuration about carbon number 3, forming the epimer xylulose 5 phosphate. Hai? 
यहाँ पे आपके पास अगर इफ यू लुक एट दिस राइबलोज फाइव फॉस्फेट है ठीक है एक ये हमारे पास मॉलिक्यूल हो गया यहाँ पे एक मॉलिक्यूल सो वी आर गेटिंग द प्रोडक्ट जाइलोज फाइव फॉस्फेट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एंजाइम थ्री एपिमरीज so it is the configuration will be the alters the configuration about carbon number 3 and uh, we will get this ab isomerase keto isomerase jo ye wala ribulose 5 phosphate hai that is responsible to give rise not the xylulose 5 phosphate that will give rise a ribulose 5 phosphate in the presence of the enzyme jisko hum kehte hain keto isomerase theek hai and what will happen जो हमारे पास कीटो आइसमरेज का क्या फंक्शन है दैट विल कन्वर्ट द राइबलोज फाइव फोसरेट टू कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग एल्डो पेंटोज में हमारे पास चेंज करता है हमारे पास कीटो पेंटोज है एंड दैट इज द एल्डो पेंटोज है ठीक है दैट्स वाई राइबोज फाइव फोसरेट इट इज नॉट एज द राइबोज फाइव फोसरेट ये कीटो पेंटोज है जबकि हमारे पास आ जाता है एल्डो कीटो पेंटोज एंड दैट इज द एल्डो पेंटोज ठीक है एंड वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द राइबोज फाइव फोसरेट फॉर देंथिस इट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिक्लोटाइट एंड निक्लिक एसिड synthesis ke liye ye wala jo product hai ribose phosphate is important now here the two another uh, important enzymes that is the keto transketolase and transalkylase ka yahan pe function aa jata hai so what will happen xylulose 5 phosphate and the ribose 5 phosphate these two molecules in the presence of the transketolase what is the function of the transketolase that is transfer the two carbon unit comprising carbon number 1 and 2 of the ketones into the aldehyde carbon of an एल्डो शुगर ठीक है सो हमारे पास जाइलोज फाइव फॉसफेट दैट इज दीटो शुगर है दैट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द्लाइसलिहाइड थ्री फॉसफेट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द एनजाइम ट्रांसकीटोलीस यानी कि जो हमारे पास कीटो जो हमारे पास था कीटो शुगर आ रहा था दैट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द एल्डो शुगर ठीक है एंड दैट इज नोट एज द ग्लाइसलिहाइड थ्री फॉसफेट ऑन द अदर हैंड अब यहाँ पे हमारे पास कितने थे फाइव कार्बन है एंड हेयर वी विल थ्री अब वी विल ट्रांसफर द टू कार्बन टू द राइबोज फाइव फॉसफेट ठीक है यहाँ पे फाइव है सो विल ट्रांसफर द टू कार्बन टू द राइबोज फाइव फॉसफेट एंड वी विल गेट अनदर प्रोडक्ट दैट इज सी डो है फाइव से सेवन हो गए और जबकि ये हमारे पास फाइव से थ्री हो गए इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द एनजाइन ट्रांस की टू लेस ठीक हो गए ना ग्लाइसल डी हाइट थ्री फॉसफेट इट इज बेसिकली हमारे पास क्या आ जाता है ये हमारे पास एल्डो शुगर uh, ठीक है Now glyceraldehyde three phosphate. Glyceraldehyde में तीन कार्बन्स होते हैं और C two have to lose seven phosphate में बस seven कार्बन्स हैं. So it forms the ten हमारे पास हो गए C three और C seven. Now in the presence of the transaldolase, what will happen? Glyceraldehyde three phosphate will be converted into the uh, another uh, हमारे पास आ जाता है the uh, uh, keto sugar में हमारे पास change होता है aldo sugar that is the fructose six phosphate. ठीक है थ्री हमने इसमें ऐड किए कहाँ से निकाल के ये सी सेवन से अब सी सेवन से जब तीन निकाले सो वी लेफ्ट विद द फोर सो विल देयर विल बी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एरेथोस फोर फॉस्फेट विच कंटेन्स द फोर कार्बन ठीक है सो वी विल अगेन गेटिंग द दीज शुगर्स ठीक है नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन ये हमारे पास फ्रुक्टोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट ये हमारे पास फ्रुक्टोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द एनजाइम फॉस्फोहेक्सोस आइसोमरेज विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द आइसोमराइजेशन हो गई ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट से आइसोमराइज होके दैट विल कन्वर्टेड बैक इनटू द ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट जो आज स्टार्ट किया था वी आर बैक टू ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट ऑन द अदर हैंड व्हाट विल हैपन अब ये तीसरा हमने डिस्कस नहीं किया था जो तीसरा जाइलोलोज 5 फॉस्फेट हमने राइबोलोज 5 फॉस्फेट से वी हैव सिंथेसाइज व्हाट विल हैपन टू दिस नाउ हियर अगेन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द ट्रांसकेटोलेज एंजाइम Again, the transfer of the हमारे पास किस चीज़ की keto sugar into the aldo sugar. Again, it will be there will be the formation of the glyceraldehyde three phosphate and erythrose four phosphate, which we are getting it from the cedo heptulose will be converted into the fructose six phosphate. यहाँ पास change हो जाता है यानी कि यहाँ पे five है तो five से हमने दो लेके in the presence of the transketolase में हमने दो यहाँ से हटा दिए so we are getting the three carbon sugar that is a glycerol dehyde three phosphate and giving it to erythrose four phosphate so we are getting the uh, fructose six phosphate 
ठीक है नाउ दिस फ्रक्टोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट जो हम एरेथ्रोस फॉर फॉस्फेट को दो कार्बन दिए सो अगेन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द आइसोमरेज एंजाइम दैट इज कन्वर्टेड बैक इनटू द ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन टू द ट्रांस केटोलेज ट्रांस केटोलेज जो हम इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द ट्रांस केटोलेज ग्लाइसोलडिहाइड थ्री फॉस्फेट बनाया नाउ इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द एल्डोलेज एंजाइम नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन the glycosylate 3 phosphate will be converted into the fructose 16 bis phosphate theek okay? hai and the uh, fructose 16 phosphate in the presence of the enzyme ye hamare paas wo enzyme hai which we will uh, which we have already discussed it or we will discuss it with you in the uh, glycolysis bis phosphatase jo hamare paas aa jata hai so bis phosphatase ki presence mein it will convert it into the fructose 16 phosphate and fructose 16 phosphate will be converted back into the by means of isomerization into the glucose 6 phosphate so these are the phases two phases of the hmp shunt theek okay? hai so again we can say the substrate from where we have started that glucose 6 phosphate is again we will get the end product the glucose 6 phosphate lekin isme jo important cheeze thi wo ye tha ke there is a generation of the nadph and the ribose precursors these are the two things in the oxidative phase mein nadph bana aur jabki non oxidative phase mein different type of the ribose precursor we have got 